This is going to be a short tutorial, well, more of a walkthrough, on how to resolve conflicts between mods that edit NPC records like Sven and Feindal in Skyrim Special, Special Edition. It's fairly easy. What you'll need is you will need Test 5 Edit, SSE Edit, or X Edit, whatever you want to call it. There will be a link in the description to download SSE Edit from the Nexus. I use Mod Organizer. You can use Vortex. doesn't really matter. It all gets handled the same way. What I've done is I've got a few mods in here, and some of them edit NP NPCs. I have two mods that are essentially... NPC overhauls. My mod, Cat Nerds Followers, and a mod called Men of Winter. Because my mod only edits male NPCs because there are more than enough mods out there to make the female NPCs look good. Um, I downloaded Men of Winter to do a demonstration. Now what you do is you go up here to your SSA edit icon or in Vortex, however you start it there. I think you can start it through Vortex. And you click it and it starts. It'll show this page. Just make sure everything is checked. If it's going to be active while the game is playing. And hit OK. And it will go in here. Sometimes you will have a mod that has what is called a mod group. It is a new feature in both Loot and in XEdit. We'll pop up these little groups. You can check it or uncheck it. I always check it. Why the hell not? And there you go. You have loaded the entire mod. Now, I have my mod, which is the newest mod between Men of Winter and Captured Followers. I installed it last. Therefore, I want it to override all these other mods as far as appearances go. So, I open it up. And I go to my NPC records. And let's say I've got Sven. Well, there's Cat Nerd Followers and AI Overhaul. Not Men of Winter, though. So I go down here, and you right-click in the right-hand pane. You hit Hide, Conflict, and Empty Rows. That way you're not looking at stuff that you don't need to worry about. The only thing it's showing now is stuff that actually conflicts with the other mods. You've got Skyrim ESM, base game, the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch, AI Overhaul, which is not a mod that cares about the appearances of the NPCs. It edits AI packages, how they behave. And then my mod, which is pretty much entirely concerned with their appearances. Now, the only real difference, I believe, is that my mod changes his confidence from average to foolhardy. This is so he doesn't run away in combat. Now you make a decision. You can carry that over, or you can leave it at foolhardy. In this case, we're going to leave it at foolhardy. Because there's no reason to change that. Feindal's going to be your follower, probably. Or Sven might be your follower. And if he is, you don't want him running away all the time. Now, we move down to Feindal in here. Same situation. Ah, Feindal has packages that are in AI Overhaul that are not in Catnerd Followers. So, you go up at the top where it says Catnerd Followers ESP in the right-hand pane. You right-click it, and you hit Copy as Override into. Ignore all the rest of these. You won't need these for basic NPC patching. So you just hit copy as override into and 
normally you would decide on whether to do an ESP to put the patches into or you could possibly do an ESP that's flagged as an ESL so it doesn't count against your load order. Depends on how many records you're going to put into this conflict resolution file. If you're going to put a lot in there, you don't want it to be an ESL because there's a limit to what an ESL can handle. If you're only ever going to put, be putting NPC records in there, and probably no more than you know 20 or 30, you're probably fine with going with an ESL. However, if you're not sure, it's always best just to stick with a regular ESP file because that will always work and you can always change it later once you've learned more about how to use XEdit. So you hit this, just name it something simple like Conflict Res NPC. You probably saw that I've already got a Conflict Resolution NPC file that I did for an earlier video that didn't work out because it would have destroyed your ears. And you hit OK. And now, as you can see, there's a conflict resolution in the far right of the, of the right hand pane. Now, see where the white border just appeared under packages. You left click on that, hold it, and drag over, and you literally just drop it right in the same place place on the conflict resolution NPC, NPC ESP. It'll ask if you want to apply master, you hit yes, and there you go. That's pretty much how it's done. Now since we don't seem to be getting many conflicts that need to be addressed here, we can go to Men of Winter, which handles a lot more NPCs. And now let's look down at Nelloth. Well, it looks like he carried over an actor effect from the Dragonborn ESM that was patched by the unofficial patch. Now, usually, with most NPC mods, they will have already done this. They will have already have moved moved uh, fixes from the unofficial patch into the NPC overhaul. This time, they didn't. Now this is a call you can make. You can either leave it like that or you can copy it as override into your conflict resolution. You'll add Men of Winter as a master and then you will move the change spell, Icy Spear, that they did for spe uh, the special edition patch over here. Now you'll see it says calculate max level 60. He has zero here. He has zero because when you put zero as the max level, that means that there is no cap on his level. He will be the same. He will stay the same level as the player, which I imagine was done so that if you try to attack him, he can still kill you. So that I would just leave. But usually the unofficial special edition patch people know what they're doing. This is a fairly inconsequential change that they made. So it's your call. Now, when you go up to things like Cicero, now there's a weird conflict. I don't know if that's an older version of the package or if he changed it. To be honest, in a situation like this, since it says U-Sleep, it's probably supposed to be the U-Sleep package, so I would copy it over. So I would, instead of grabbing the, the top tab up there, grab the actual U-Sleep package, pull it over, and drop it directly on top of the other U-Sleep package. It'll ask you if you want to make the Unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch a master. Say yes. And now, as you see, you've replaced that other Usleep package. He may have done that for a reason. He may not have. I made the call that I would replace it with the Usleep patch. 
Now, we're going to remove that guy. And as you can see, Men of Winter and cutter, Cutting Room Floor has an issue. So you just copy. Conflict Resolution. And now you look down here. And now you make a decision whether you want Cutting Room Floor or you want to stick with the vanilla version. All this is doing is changing his gear. It's so his weapons... It's so his shield and his weapon are equal to, to your level when you first meet him as a hireling. Which I think is a good thing. So I move it over. And since he just changed it to a vanilla package and CRF gave him a specialty package, I would move CRF. And I would probably keep CRF's abilities. Now, Eric's still red. So look for a few more. And then Eric Af outfit. That is actually a vanilla outfit that for some reason they changed. The cutting room floor brought back. It means that his outfit, when he meets you, will be the level as you are, the same level as you are. You may have to do a, f a little bit of research if you want to learn how to do this properly. So I move it over. But we also have. Let's look at one that conflicts with my mod. Cat Nerd. I do believe Sven conflicts. Nope, not with Men of Winter. Nope. But I do have Preventus Avenici, which I turned into an old man. So again, copy. Conflict res. Move it over. Grab the tab. Move his AI package over. Drop it right there. Make sure there's Nothing else. And then Ferengar. I want to keep the changes I made. Because I don't agree with what AI, I don't agree with, AI, with the changes AI overhaul apparently made. Because it looks like it didn't really make any changes, which is weird. Very strange. Anyway, once you've made all the changes you want to make, go to the upper left hand corner, hit save, and then you can see usually there will only be one thing here, one file here. Make sure it's clicked. You don't need a backup plugin because you're creating a new file. If you were making changes to an existing file, like say updating your conflict resolution ESP, you would click backup plugins. That way, in case you made a mistake, you would have a copy of the plugin before you made the changes. Generally, you don't need to do that because you can always just go back and make the change yourself. So hit OK and then close the program. And yes, it will say when you close the program. This way, you can just hit it and it'll show you whether it failed or not, which it does sometimes if you try to do something you shouldn't do. And they will be in your override file. If you are using Vortex, it will be in your data file. Mod Organizer users will have to activate it. So will Vortex users. It will be in your base game data file. You will have to activate it and probably create a rule to control it so that it's in the right place in your load order. Since load order control is the reason I do not use Vortex. Rules are all nice and I do think they are an improvement. Not being able to drag and drop my load order couldn't do that. Everybody has different views. Anyway, if you have any questions on how to do this properly, leave a comment in my YouTube in the YouTube video or in the mods comment section. I watch both and I get few enough comments that I'll will I will 99.9% .9 respond to your question. Anyway, good luck and I hope this helped you. If it wasn't clear, tell me it wasn't clear.